crianças, tudo bem com vocês? Ai, que saudade! Como vocês são especiais para mim e para o Cristo. Amém? Como é bom termos a tecnologia a nosso favor. Eu estou aqui na minha casa, vocês na sua casinha. E com isso nós podemos compartilhar e falar um pouquinho do amor de Deus que é imenso, muito grande por mim, por você, por todos nós. Esse mês nós estamos estudando Upside Down, Jesus Change for Everything. Jesus virou tudo, 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 tudo de ponta cabeça e mudou tudo. Ele transformou tudo através do seu amor e da sua humildade. Deus, a palavra de Deus nos fala em Filipenses 2, verso 3, que sejamos humildes para com os outros, para que nós não pensemos, para que nós não sejamos orgulhosos, que, que nós tenhamos vantagem daquilo que estamos fazendo para o próximo, mas que sejamos humildes, que fazemos aquilo de bom coração, que nós coloquemos os nossos amiguinhos, os nossos pais, as pessoas que estão próximas a nós, que elas em primeiro lugar do que a nós mesmos. Assim como Jesus fez por mim e por você. Jesus colocou eu, você, todos nós em primeiro lugar. Ele demonstrou o seu amor, a sua humildade por nós. Então que eu, você, nós todos sejamos humildes de coração. Sejamos, compartilhemos com os nossos amigos a humildade de Deus. Amém? Agora fiquem ligadinhos na historinha da Tia Mel. The story of Easter. Jesus' sacrifice. This is Jesus. Hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles, like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus ah, come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the son of God. You say that I am. <coughs> and the council was furious and they shouted that Jesus was guilty and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said that he would punish Jesus and then release him. Ah! 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 What? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, 
If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day. Woohoo! and ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? hey -oh. Ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. <laughs> he taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Um, so, we all know that last week was Easter, and Easter is about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So today we're going to be learning about a sacrifice. So, um, the Jew Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing, which was creating miracles. He was healing the sick or calming great storms. They wanted to get rid of Jesus, so they created a plan to arrest him. One of Jesus' disciples, Judas, betrayed Jesus and worked with the people for money. Um, so one day while Jesus was praying, Judas took the people to Jesus and they arrested him. They took Jesus to a council and the council asked him if he was the son of God. Jesus said yes and they were angry with this. They believed he had to die for this. So the people decided that he should be crucified. They hurt Jesus and they humiliated him. They put a crown of thorns on his head they um, even made Jesus take his own cross up to his hill where he was going to be crucified. And he was so hurt from doing this that someone had to help him because he was so weak. So when he was on the cross, someone told him that if he was really the son of God, then he should just save himself. But Jesus knew that he had to die to forgive us for our sins. Later that day, Jesus took his final breath and he died. Three days passed and a woman who cared for Jesus visited his tomb and saw that no one was there. An angel came down and visited her and told her that Jesus rose from the dead like he said he would. Then on, Jesus stayed on earth for 40 days and told everyone that everyone who believed in him would not perish but have eternal life. And this just shows that we need to put Jesus in front of our lives like he put him in like he put our lives in front of him. So now that was the story. And I'm going to ask you guys the key question. And the key question is, what does Easter mean to you? To me, Easter means that... <laughs> we're just lucky to be alive because if Jesus never died for our sins, then we wouldn't be here right now. So now that you guys have a question in your minds, answer it, and now let's go pray with Giannetta Lee.
everyone, how everybody's doing today? Well, I hope you all doing great. Today's lesson we're starting about when Jesus died on the cross to save our lives. We also learn when he come back alive again, like he promised. I know this was a blessed and beautiful story, right? Because that show us how much Jesus loves us. But now guys, we are finished our lessons of this week. And I want to invite you all to hold hands so we can pray and give thanks to God for everything He has done in your lives. Amen? Dear God, we now thank you for all your love and care for us. We thank you, Lord, for our family, friends, and for our health. We also thank you for Jesus that died on the cross to save our lives and come back alive again like three days later like he promised. Help us, Lord, to have a humble heart so we can forgive others, to show them the power of your love. Amen. Guys, it was a pleasure to be here again. And I want to say that I miss you all. But before I go, I want to share a, a challenge with you. And I really want to see this work later on today, okay? So, um, I want you to make me a drawing of you and Jesus, showing what you and him will be doing in this drawing, okay? So, you can share your work later on today in our group chat, okay? For now, I just want to say thank you for all your company, wishing you a blessed and wonderful week. I love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.